Welcome back. It is time for some Sylvan Learning Center trivia. We love Sylvan Learning Center because it helps people stay educated, get that tutoring they need. I needed tutoring and it was very critical in me getting through all, you know of, all what? grades. I don't want to throw my parents under the bus, but I wish they would have got me a tutor. <laughs> I wish I would have got one, and I wish we had Sylvan Learning Center where, when I grew up because mm -hmm. it's a great organization. And what we love, too, is for the next three weeks, we'll be playing trivia from Sylvan Learning Center that producer Jake is off camera. He is going to be reading us these questions. Today's theme is writing, writing questions, and I will be honest with you. I could never write a novel. Like, I can write a script for TV. Yeah. But if you told me to write a novel, I don't know if I could remember all the rules. You know what I'm saying? The oh, I, I, I couldn't remember the rules, but I love writing. So I could get it all on paper, and then I'd have a copy editor come in and just... Tear just shreds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so Producer Jake, are you ready with our Sylvan Learning Center trivia? I am ready, and we are actually going to see how well you remember those rules. Oh! Okay! So first, we'll start relatively easy here. When do you capitalize words like grandpa, grandma, aunt, and uncle? Go, Maddie. You would say, before, you would capitalize it before their name. That is correct. Yay! Wait, I did know that one. I did know that one. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I did. I did. All right. We'll do one more that I think this might be the easiest of all. Okay. okay. What are the five W's of writing? Okay. Who, what, where, when, and why? Yes. Did I get them? You did get them. Yep. Oh, I honestly, I thought I did not and know that. I mean, I knew oh. that, but I was like the W's right. Not a W. Can you name the bonus six though? How? That's it too. Yeah. Oh, guys, I must have paid attention a little bit. You did. You did. Okay. All right, stepping up a little bit. Can you give three examples of a preposition? Oh, a preposition, like preposition. a prepositional phrase. Like, yeah. So it doesn't have to be a phrase. Just three examples of a preposition. Oh, a word specifically. Okay. You of. Know. In, okay. about. You got three there. Wow! And do so we need more? No, just. Oh, okay. Okay, then Maddie, pop quiz. Prepositional phrase. That would be with the the subject behind it. Yeah. Of. So. From Springfield. From yeah. Springfield. Yeah. Of, something about this. What is Jeremy's? In an, Jeremy's the, an idiot. What is that? Is that a no? Okay. Jeremy. Just. <laughs> Jeremy's an <laughs> idiot about that. About that. There you go. There you go. Okay. Okay. Can you explain the difference between a semicolon and a colon and how you would use them? Oh, goodness okay. gracious. Okay, semicolon and. So it acts as a conjunction between a, a thought, one thought, and another. However, the colon you would use to then list items. That is absolutely correct. Yes! Oh my gosh! Jake, next week, can we at least give me a chance? Oh, well, we have uh, math. Do you want that one? Oh, okay. nope. <laughs> I'm out for math. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, how many? Is that all? No, no. There's oh, we've got more. one we more. Got one. And okay. this one we have a still. Okay. What, that sentence behind you, what is wrong with that sentence? There's one word that absolutely, absolutely, I can't speak, needs to change. Which one is it and why? I would think it would be the teacher and us girls went to the cafeteria. Um, well, I feel like us, us girls, girls sounds is, funky. Yeah. So the teacher and... All of the girls. So there's just us? one word that you said. There's one word that is absolutely incorrect. Well, if you took out us, it would be the teacher and girls went to the cafeteria. Does that make sense or no? The teacher so and girls went to the. The teacher and us went to the cafeteria. What if we took out girls? Girls, yeah, it might be. So the, the speaker teacher. of that sentence is one of those girls. You would have to have that still. Oh, oh. then us would keep. So we have to get rid of us. No, no, we have to get rid of girls because she's one of the girls. The teacher and us. Went to the cafeteria. But then, do you need to know it was just girls going, or was it girls and boys? I don't know. <laughs> so the, the easiest way, those are the teacher and the girls are both subjects here. Mm -hmm. The easiest way, in the case of us girls, to know whether it's correct would be to drop the girls and put that as the start of the sentence. So not us went to the cafeteria, but we went to the cafeteria. So what? Oh, so, the teacher and we girls went to the cafeteria. Uh, well, we knew us sounded weird. Yes. It is okay. weird. And sometimes girls, it sounds you? correct, like uh, you could say uh, Jeremy, Maddie, and I. Right. Or I went. Somebody gave something. Tom gave a forecast to Jeremy, Maddie, and I. That sounds right, but it's not. It's not. It's me, me in that case. Right, right, right. Isolate. I always have to do Isolate that. the word, and that will tell you the correct answer. Okay. Guys, this is why Sylvan Learning Center is so important. Because, look, we have been brushing up. I haven't been to school in for years. We should probably go. Probably should brush up. 
Uh, so yes, make sure you go to their website, find out more about their tutoring and the services they offer because they are amazing and they can help your student no matter what age you are, elementary, middle, high school, and college. Uh, right there, there's the information on your screen right now. Give them a call, go to the website. Um, but I have a feeling we're going to learn a lot because of Sylvan Learning Center. We are. Over the I'm next actually few weeks. kind of excited. I am Jog too. My memory. Jogging it on in. All okay. right.